Hello and welcome to this session techies. My name is Yogesh. When we work as cloud admin or I can say system admin for cloud environments, there are scenarios where you want to grab uh, information very quickly. If I have to give scenario, let's assume you are in a scenario where 10 of your EC2 instances are not working or they got some issue or they got rebooted and you want to do a quick health check like whether the drives are attached, what are the drive attributes or what is the health status of the EPS volumes. One way you can log into AWS console, you can select your EC2 instance, then see what volumes are attached, then you can go to each volume and get the status, but that is going to be very lengthy process. So I thought to automate uh, this. So guys, uh, I have written a batch script, which can list all the volumes attached to EC2 instance, which can provide attribute of EBS volumes, which can give you current status of EBS volumes. Scripts checks whether AWS CLA is installed. If not, script will execute. Script will prompt user for instance IDs for which volume attachment or volume health check need to be performed. User can enter one or multiple instance IDs. So multiple instance IDs are supported. Script checks the valid instance IDs. If instance ID is incorrect, script will ex exit. What are the prerequisites? You need a Linux host with bash. You need AWS CLI and Porto installed. AWS CLI configured, basically access key, access key ID and region need to be configured. To use that script, you can put it in any directory. You can make it executable. Then you can run script. Once you run script without any option, it tells you what are the valid options you can see on my screen. I will give you a more demo or practical thing in the technical session and I will explain this script how it works. When you run the script with volume list, it lists all the volumes you can see on screen. This is demo. When you run script with volume attribute, it gives you attribute of the volumes. When you run with volume status, it gives you health check of the volume status passed. This is a volume ID. So let me quickly take you through the script and tell what the script is actually doing. So this script I have named as AWS volstand.sh start from beginning few lines these are introductory basically what shell script is doing first section I got that's a function which is checking what are the volumes attached and in this one let me do more highlight I'm just running command describe volumes and grabbing the volumes which are attached to that particular instance then second function I got that's volume feature in volume feature I'm grabbing what is the volume type what is the volume IOPS what is the volume size whether volume is encrypted or not, what is the volume AZ, like in which availability zone volume is created. Then what is the volume device name, SDF or SDB. Next function, I go that's volume status. In that one, I'm just querying uh, the volumes status, volume status feature from uh, AWS CLI describe volume status. Then a uses function, which is telling how you can use this particular script. Then I got some coloring to make this script a little bit user friendly. So I added colors, then options, whatever option you select. Then the script checks whether CLI is installed or not. If CLI is not installed, this script will exit. What are the valid options? These three are valid options. And here I'm checking whether instance ID, which user is passing, I'm grabbing all detail here. Then I'm checking whether instance ID is valid or not. So I'm just grabbing that instance ID from this particular file. If that's not valid, script will execute, exit. And here I got a big for loop where I've defined all functions. If users specify volume list options, so run this particular function. A volume attribute is entered, then run this particular function. A volume status is entered, then run this particular function. If everything good, exit with zero. So that is the script which I have written. I will be sharing this script uh, on uh, my channel so you guys can grab that script and let me quickly show you a quick demo how this script works when you run this script without any option it tells you what is the usage once you specify some dummy thing which is not valid it will exit it will tell okay these are the valid options 
So now let's say we want to know what are the volumes attached to a particular instance. So we can run this function volume list when script will run on this particular machine I already got AWS CLI configured so this particular machine can communicate with the Amazon API so let's say I want to know details about this particular instance and press enter so this script will check what is the instance ID what is the instance name for instance name it is getting detail of name tag what is mentioned or specified in name tag if that's new it will be blank it is telling these two volumes are attached to this particular instance. So let's say we got same requirement, but we want to check multiple instances. For example, let's say I want to check these two instances. So if you got multiple instances, they need to be space separated like this. Press enter. So this script will run in loop. So it code detail about first instance. Now it code detail about second instance like these volumes are attached. Let's do next thing where you want to see volume attributes press enter and uh, let's check for one instance only what are the volume attributes again in case you got multiple instances you can add multiple as we did before so guys you can see the script code details about both volumes type is gp200 iops size 2gb encrypted false mean volume is not encrypted it is in two way devices sdf this is the other volume which is basically root volume size is 10 gb in two way in that way you can get volume attributes let's quickly run the third function which is volume status this function again you can specify single instance id or multiple instance id let's specify two ids this time press enter this script again work in loop it is telling this particular volume status is passed mean health check is okay this is second instance now first volume is passed second volume is passed so in that way guys you can get uh, details about your ebs volumes so I will be sharing this script on my channel so you can grab the script anytime you can update it free field to use it anywhere you want but use it at your own risk because you have to validate you are the best guy to determine whether this script is good or you need some improvement or you don't want to use the script so use at your own risk thank you guys for watching my videos Please leave your comment on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys.